Hi, my name's Rob and I'm going to be giving you an introduction to programming using NXTG. So once you've got the software installed you should see NXT 2.0 programming and NXT 2.0 data logging. We're going to be going into the programming side so double click on that to open it up. So if your screen is not maximized you might like to do that now like I've already done um, by double clicking on the top blue bar or the maximize button. Uh, you probably have this robot educator panel up on the right hand side we can minimize that uh, to give ourselves a bit more screen, uh, space on the screen uh, but if you ever want to get that back you can click on this button here uh, also on the splash screen you've got somewhere to type the name of your program we're going to be doing a little dance routine so type in the name dance and then press go once the programming screen has opened up, uh, you'll see down the left hand side the common palette. If someone else has been using this program before you, then it might look like this or this down the left hand side. You can click on the common palette, uh, the leftmost icon down here, to bring back up the common palette. You'll see a bunch of different options, move, record, play, sound, display, wait, etc. We'll be having a look at some of the rest of these later on, but for the moment we're just going to be concentrating on this move block to make the robot move. Uh, you're going to be building up your program here on the screen, and we build it up by dragging out these blocks, uh, positioning them on, and you'll notice that uh, there was that little beam extended out, that's called the sequence beam, and there's a highlighted region there. When I let go of the the mouse here, my block will actually drop into that highlighted area. You'll see that the block here is highlighted and then down the bottom left hand corner of the screen we've got this area called the configuration panel and that's where we can adjust the various settings for the selected block. So in this case we can choose which motor ports we're using, so by default it's B and C. We can set the directions forward or backward, uh, we can make adjustments to the steering, um, we can adjust the power, uh, and we can also adjust how long the robot moves for. So we can have the motors move for a certain number of rotations, or a certain number of degrees, uh, or we can do it based on time, uh, which is what uh, we might do here, and let's set this to a duration of 0.5 seconds, so we'll make the robot go forward for half a second uh, and we'll leave the power level on 75 and then we can download it onto the robot using this button here. Uh, all of these buttons down in this bottom right hand corner uh, for interacting with the NXT brick. You need to make sure your NXT is turned on and that you've got your USB cable plugged in. Then we hit download and you should hear it beep and once that's done we can actually unplug the robot if we like or we could leave it plugged in uh, and then we can select my files, software files, dance and then when we're ready we can press the orange button to run it and you see the robot moves forward for half a second. Okay let's say we want to make the robot move backwards for half a second after that. So I can drag out another move block. So it'll still go forward and then we've got this move block which I'm going to change to backwards and I'll change the duration to match up what we had before, 0 0.5 seconds. And let's say we want to make the robot go forwards, backwards, turn left, turn right. So I'll grab another move block and this time I'm going to change the steering and steer it hard left and I'll grab a fourth move block and steering hard right and I'll change that time to be the same as well so they're all set the same I'm going to download this program and we'll try that out Okay, so you can see there it went forwards, backwards, left, right. Um, 
what I would like you to do is, well, firstly, see if you can recreate this program, make a robot that can go forwards, backwards, left, right. Uh, but then I would like you to experiment with your own sequence of move blocks and see what different little dance maneuvers you could come up with. So, for example, could you make a robot uh, move in a zigzag or a wave or a star or a spiral or whatever you like, really? Uh, all of those sorts of basic maneuvers can be done with a sequence of move blocks uh, and just experiment with the different different settings in the configuration panel and let me know what you can come up with.